Welcome to No BSTS episode 19, and in this one we're going to take a look at a few more utility types before we jump into the world of applying TypeScript to React. So, what are those utility types? Well, let's jump on over to the TypeScript handbook and have a look at them. So the first one is the parameters type, and that looks at the parameters that go into a function and it gives you back an array of all the different parameters. Obviously, you can have multiple parameters on a function, so that's why it's an array. We're going to also look at constructor parameters. That's basically exactly the same thing, but it's applied to the parameters of a constructor. So in this case, like a class constructor. Return type gives you the output type from a function. And this is actually the one that I want us to pay a little bit of attention to as we go through this, because we'll be using that when it comes to the use state hook on React. And then instance type, which is essentially the same thing as return type, but applied to constructors as opposed to functions. So we're gonna basically look at the parameters of functions, the return type of functions, the parameter of constructors, and the return type of constructors. So let's get right into it. So I'm gonna create a new file here called utility types 2.ts. We already have a utility types one. And the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to create a function that takes a name and gives us back a full name. So it's gonna take a first and a last and give us back a complete structure that gives us a first, last, and a full name. So first thing we need to do is define our name structure. So in this case, I'll use an, a type for that. And we'll have a first, which is a string, and a last, which is a string. And then we're going to have a add full name function, which when given a name, will give you back a name and this is gonna add on top of it, a full name. So let's see how to implement that. Well, the uh, first thing we're gonna need to do is return an object. And then within that object, we want everything that was in the original object, right? And then we want a full name. So that could be just that, or we could do the right thing, give us a temp text template like this, and put in there name.first and name.last. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is create a permute function that when given, in this case, add full name, and an array of names gives us back an array of these structures of, of full name. So it, it, if it's gonna be generic, it needs to look at this parameter and say that we need an array of that. And then it needs to look at this return type and say that it's gonna output an array of that return type. So let's try that. Let's say uh, function permute rows. And we know this is gonna be a generic, right? So we're gonna give us, we're gonna start with a type because that is gonna be the iterator function type. Right. And then there's going to be an array of that incoming data. And that should be the parameters for that first, for that type of the iterator function. That's going to give us that array and of the different parameters going into, the, in this case, add full name. So from that, we want to pick off the first parameter. So that'd be parameter zero. And then the return type coming out of this is going to be the return type of that iterator function and an array of that. Oh, we also want an array of this. So that, that's gonna be an array as well. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna return out an array and we've got an issue. So what's the issue here, TypeScript? Let's go over to problems and see what our issue is. Well, the issue here is that the type of T in this case does not satisfy the constraint of it being a function. So parameters itself is constrained to just applying to functions and we haven't told t here that you must be a function. So in order to do that, we need to say that t must extend a function. So we'll say extends. And then how do we define any function in the world? Well, any function in the world can be defined as any arguments producing any result. That is the most generic version of a function that you can find, right? Any function will match this constraint. 
So, okay, what do I need to do with this? Well, we need to go and iterate over data and <laughs> basically just, it's an iterator, it's a map, it's, it's really that, but it's just an elaborate way of doing this. And in fact, actually, you could easily replace parameters with uh, just a, a template looking at this first argument. And in this case, you could repl ret replace uh, return type with effectively the same thing, but capturing the output. It's fine. It's nice to be able to use utility functions like this. And I think it re maybe reads a little bit cleaner. So let's try this out. So let's do console.log. And we'll permute the rows. And we'll call it our add full name function there over all the items in this array. So let's see. I'm a, I need a... This is actually pretty cool, right? So this is telling us I want a name there. So let's see. First has got to be in there. Let's put me in there. And then last, it's got to be in there. Let's put me in there as well. Okay, there we go. And let's give this a try. Okay, so MPX TS node, utility types two dot TS. And there we go, great. Okay, so it's taken, it's called our add full name function, which has passed it in that, you, that Jack Harrington. And that in turn has created that full name output, which is what we're seeing down here so yay okay so let's see how do we would we apply that to a class so the first thing we need to do is create a new class we'll call it uh, person with full name and it takes a constructor and that constructor is going to take a name and then turn that into a public variable and it's not going to do anything with that but it is going to have a getter or full name, which returns basically that template it's doing from before. But in this case, we've got this is so this dot name dot first, and then this dot name dot last like that. Okay, cool. So now we've got our class. Now we need to be able to go and build a whole bunch of objects from a, a similar kind of data input. We want to have a function that creates objects if you give it person with full name, given the data that comes as an input. So let's, let's call that create objects. And the first thing we need is a, a class. We'll call that you know, object type or whatever if you want. And we'll make it a T just like we did before with the function. And we'll go over here and we'll make that a generic. And then we've got data. And the data in this part, in this point, is going to be a constructor parameters of T. And again, we'll pick off the zeroth item. So in this case, that's going to be that public name right here. And again, we want an array of that. And the output here is going to be an instance type. So a constructor creates an instance, and the instance type is the return type of that constructor. So again, we'll return an empty array. And we'll see what TypeScript's problem is. What's your problem, TypeScript? Well, in this case, it's saying that the T doesn't satisfy the constraint of new args any any. So basically, the only difference between a function declaration, like this one, extends like this guy right here, is the addition of the new, and the new makes it a constructor. So let's go back over here, extends, and then new, and basically just paste in that one from a four. And so where this one, this guy, matches any function, this guy will match any constructor because it's got that new keyword up front. Cool, right? All right, so here's what we do. We gotta go and implement this now. So let's go iterate over data. And then with every item, I guess, we'll call it item, sure, whatever, we will do a new and then instantiate object type on that item. And let's see how we go. All right, so actually that we need an array coming out of there. Yeah, that, may, that makes sense. Okay, cool. I think that might actually work. So let's see, let's uh, console log here again. And in this case, we'll use create objects instead of permute rows. And now it's telling us, hey, buddy, 
right? That is not a constructor. Add full name does not implement new, but person with full name is a constructor. So there we go. Okay, cool. And I don't know, let's call this uh, LG Harrington. That's, that's one of my dogs. So let's see. All right, let's try it this time. Great. Okay, so now the second console log is our object with the correct name in there. And now that actually has that full name getter on it. So instead of doing that, let's go and just add on a map. And we'll take our object, which it knows, by the way. It's, it's, it's smart. And it knows that that is a person with a full name object. Very cool. And we will just instead go and get the full name in there just to see, just make sure that it's getting the right thing. All right, let's run it again. And there we go, LG Harrington, nice. All right, fantastic. So what I really wanna just stress is, and this is all great stuff, but the return type is one that we're gonna carry through when we start looking at how to type hooks in React. And React is where we're gonna go next. So episode 20, we're going to start looking at how to build a React TypeScript project. Can't wait to see you there. But in the meantime, of course, feel free to hit that like button, comment if you have any questions, share this video with your friends, and of course, hit that subscribe button if you really like these videos, and ring that bell and you'll be notified the next time a new No BS TS video arrives.